602 now. At least 111 people are now confirmed deceased after a result of the wildfires that ripped through Maui. It's still in the early morning hours in Hawaii right now, but once the sun comes back up, more people are expected to return to their homes to see what's left. Here's what we know at this hour. More than 1,100 people are still unaccounted for this morning. People who have returned to check on their homes say they have found little relief efforts in place there. And Hawaii's governor commissioned the state attorney general to investigate the emergency response. Roughly eight hours from now, members of our local Maryland Task Force One will be arriving in Hawaii to help with relief efforts. They left Montgomery County last night and they're set to land around 2 p.m. our time. Marcella Robertson joining us now with more on the ongoing relief efforts sent from across the country. Marcella, good morning. Annie, good morning. Well, those first responders, they are on their way to their mission right now to help with those relief efforts. They tell us they may not be from the community where they're headed, but they will certainly operate like it is their own community. This team, they are familiar with missions like this. It's a team of about 70 members of Maryland Task Force One. They will help support whatever FEMA needs at this point. 50 Montgomery County firefighters, another 20 members from D.C., Baltimore and Prince George's County. They packed up their gear last night and deployed to head into the aftermath of the Hawaiian wildfire disaster. Now, two of the team's members, they are already on the ground there with their canines. These teams, they are specially trained to search dangerous debris fields, and they will likely be recovering victims from large buildings that were burned. And one of their biggest challenges will be to stretch their supplies as long as possible. We're going to an isolated area where there's, uh, it's not resource rich. Um, so whenever you're in the continental U.S., um, you, know, you can be in an area that's devastated. But if you drive long enough, you can find stuff. Um, we don't have that option on this one. So it's going to be what, it, what it's going to be. What we have is what we have. And these first responders, they are making a big sacrifice themselves. They don't know when they're going to return back home. We are six hours ahead of Hawaii and there will be limited cell service, which means they'll essentially be cut off from their families too until their work is done. And back here at home, I also want to mention their colleagues. They're working overtime, canceling vacations to cover for them. Uh, Annie, to make sure that we're safe back here. All right, Marcella, thanks for that.